Okay, this time we will create some custom shape masks and make zoom through effects with them. In the timeline, I have some images placed on top of each other, with the beginning of each one delayed one second after the previous one, which is the time frame for the zoom through effects. Before we go to the fusion page, convert all these images to fusion clips, because the resolution of these source images are different from our project. Let's start with the first one, right click, and select open in fusion page from the menu. The first custom shape mask we create for this demo will use text symbols. Drag the matte control from the toolbar and insert it between media in and media out nodes. Drop a text node to the editor. While holding the Alt key, drag the text output to the matte control. Select the garbage matte from the menu. With the text node selected, go to the inspector. In the text input, press and hold the Alt key and type 3 from the number pad of the keyboard. A heart shape symbol is added to the text field. Change the font size, we can see a box in the viewer instead of the heart shape. Because the current font doesn't support this symbol. For this demo, I set the font to Sego UI. If your keyboard doesn't have a number pad, you can find the symbol in the Windows application, Character Map. Copy the symbol, and press Ctrl V to paste the symbol into the text input. Select the matte control, go to the inspector. In the garbage matte section, check the invert option to show the content inside the shape. Right click the text node, select copy. You can also press Ctrl C to make a copy. Press Ctrl V to paste a new text node into the editor. Merge it with the previous one. Adjust the new text position and size, so that we have a shape of two hearts linked together. From the toolbar, drag a transform node, and insert after the merge node. Select the transform node, and move the playhead to the beginning. In the inspector, enable the keyframe for the size parameter, and change the size for the animation start. Move the playhead to frame 30 which is one second for the animation. Change the size until the image is fully revealed. Please note that the size slider won't let you pass five by default. You have to enter the size in the input field for a number bigger than five. Play the clip and see that we have created a zoom through effect from this custom shape mask. To make the animation smoother, open the spline editor and check the size of the transform. Click the zoom to fit button in the toolbar. Select the starting keyframe and click the smooth icon in the bottom toolbar to smooth the curve. You can also manually drag the handle to change the curve. I think this is good now. Go back to the edit page, right click the second clip and open it in the fusion page. This time, we will use fusion shapes to make a custom shape mask. Just like the first one, we insert a matte control between the media in and out nodes. Go to the effects library and expand the tools. In the shapes folder, drag a star shape, a shape render node to the editor, and connect them to the gray garbage matte input of matte control node. For the demo, we set the number of star shape points to five. Change the depth and border width as desired. Drag a shape transform node and insert it between the star shape and shape render node. With the transform node selected, in the inspector, change X size. Enter equals sign in the Y size field to enable simple expression. Instead of typing the expression in the input field, we can pick whip the target parameter. In this case, we want to connect Y size to X size. To do this, simply drag a whip from the add button to X size, and the X size is added to the expression automatically. Now if we change the X size, the Y size will be changed at the same time. Select Matte Control. Invert the garbage matte in the inspector. Drag an ellipse shape to the editor and merge it with the star node. Change its width and height to 0.25. Adjust the ellipse shape position so that the final shape looks like a gingerbread man.
Next we will animate the size of the transform node. Move the playhead to the beginning, set the X size for the starting frame. Go to frame 30, change the X size until the image is fully showing in the viewer. Open the spline editor and smooth the animation as we did before. Go to the edit page and open the third clip in the fusion page. For this one, we will use a PNG image to define the mask shape. In the media pool, I have a map PNG file prepared. Drag it to the node editor and connect its output to the garbage mat input of the mat control. Repeat the steps we did for previous clips. Invert the garbage mat and insert a transform node after the image media in node. Animate the size of the transform node and smooth the animation keyframes in the spline editor. For the last image, we will import a SVG file as the shape input. In this demo, I export a skiing icon from PowerPoint. Go to the Fusion menu, select Import, SVG. Select the SVG file. Click OK to confirm the image size. After it's imported to the node editor, we can open the group to review or make changes to individual nodes inside if needed. In this demo, we leave everything as it is. Next we do the same steps as we did in the last clip to animate the mask size for a zoom through effect. Now we have done all the fusion work. Go back to the edit page and play the timeline. The images are revealed through these custom shape masks one by one as expected. Okay, this is all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.